Welcome to Mac 21 and the presentation of the Masterclass for Mendel Ray in 3DS Max, where we will analyze in detail the render element and other topics. The Masterclass is composed by 18 lessons in 3 hours and 20 minutes. The lessons will be compatible with older versions of 3DS Max. In this Masterclass, we will see in two important scenes as you use the render element. The render element we can find them directly in this area. Inside the render element, there are many render element to be used in Manual Ray. Are all those that have the initials with MR. And as you can see we have many, because we start from here, and we come up to this point. In the master class, we will study how to adjust the render elements, what kind of render element is required and the list that is turned on how to save, and what are the save settings for correct compositing. Will analysis many render element, in fact it will use the render element level, or the render element output, or the render element raw, and some render element compounds, within the program of photo retouching that will be used, in Photoshop. We will study all the possibilities of blending modes, which are not visible at this time, as a question of copyright during the presentation of master classes. In this area are all included various render element, which I use now, now I'm off some level, and they allow me to do the compositing the scene, this means that we start from the area of diffusion. Begin to add all the different render element to get what is the final scene created directly inside Photoshop. The advantage for the possibility of having the render element with the correct blend modes in 3ds max is the possibility to turn off the level where you inserted the render element at this moment i turn off the ambient occlusion which allows me to increase or decrease the effect of realism through the ambient occlusion we will study how to set the materials in 3ds max and because the elements are considered as levels are elements that can also be modified in this case I'm modifying the properties of the layer. To change the transparency and reduce the ambient occlusion, all this speech will be executed on the main channels, for example the channels of transparency. At this time I increased the intensity of the level of transparency. There will also be an opportunity not just to change the opacity, but we'll see that you can use other tools, like I'm doing right now with another tool of Photoshop which allows me to play on the level of transparency. Anything is possible after compose the levels in Photoshop. Here for example I'm changing other parameters that are here. This allows me to change the area of the specularity. As you can see on the floor, is present a hit light of very strong. Which could be disturb. Instead of make a new rendering, I will come in Photoshop to change a coefficient, which is not inherent, to the opacity of the layer. But other things that we will see, how you can set. All this provides us with a large degree of control over the image. For all elements, such as what I'm doing now. I'm changing the lighting, self-illumination, as you can see here we have the lamps. Instead of increasing the brightness of the lamps in Mental Ray with the intensity of the candles, I am rising directly into Photoshop. And then if you want you can also add filters to create the flashes. In this master class we'll use another lighter model. Where we will investigate other methods of blending with the render element. In this part of the master class we'll be seen as can create the masks. And how do the compositing masks in render element inside Photoshop? In this case I will have the possibility with the addition of a mask to change what is the original color of this session. In fact the original color of this chair has this aspect. Also this type of render element has a control. Because it is a different render element if we compare it with the render element of the specular. What I'm doing is changing the amount of specularity. 
in the render element, or I can change the amount of reflection in the render element. Also if we use the compositing of some masks. We'll see how you can apply and change in relation to the items that I set in 3ds Max, because I can change the color of this element, or the color of the legs, on the chair. I can change later, without making agin the rendering, in any photo editing program, such as what is the color, in this case I did the coloring, but I could do anything else. Because the render was separated in levels, this gives me a lot of control. In the master class for 3ds Max, we will not only study the render element, but we'll also talk about a subject that has not been analyzed in previous master classes, Mental Ray 3.9, which are always compatible to the basic matter. We will study the rollout of processing, we will see how you can optimize memory, we will see all this area, we will see the render pass we have not used before in the master class and we'll see how to introduce the render nodes through distributed rendering for create the faster rendering. We will do on the scene for the chair, that is this, and also the scene of interiors, that I showed you earlier. Also in this master class we'll study some hidden shader, which are architecture shader. The shader architecture allows us to make a more simple compositing inside 3ds Max, to the arguments of the exposure, this means that there will some shaders, which are usually not available, inside the rollout of 3ds Max. In fact, if you look for these shaders we'll not find them, we'll see how to unlock, and we'll see what happens when I apply these shaders. In fact, in this example were applied shaders, which give me the opportunity, when I do render to recall the settings to obtain a very fast rendering, of a few seconds. The particularity of these shaders is that I can change the lighting. Right now I have changed some elements of this shader. I copy it in the RAM player. This is to try comparison in 3ds Max, with the files, but they are already final, as result image. If I return in the control rendering, and I do another rendering, Look I made another rendering, always in a few seconds, two seconds. This means that these shader architecture allow me also in 3ds Max, the ability to view what is happening within an image. For this is a compositing done inside 3ds Max, using an image that hooks into a particular shader. With special settings. This process allows me to see immediately. What is the type of exposure, which I prefer, but without losing the time it would take to run the render from the beginning. Thank you for watching the presentation. Greetings from Mac21.